Hey, it's the book at his boss on Pat Caputo, sports columnist for the Oakland Press. This is the man who keeps me in line. Any complaints, send it to him. This is Jeff Kuhn, and uh, we, want, we just want an award for our set decoration here. We want to thank uh, the, uh, the Academy. Uh, we spent a lot of time on this back here, setting this up uh, to give you the best set decoration that could possibly happen. And uh, it's pretty good, Jeff. I like it. You know, it's very simple, very simple, and very defined. That's right. But anyway, uh, today, uh, you know, a lot of on our mind, this is a great time for sports in this town. One of the teams that it hasn't been a great time for has been the Tigers. Jeff, I'm shocked by it. I truly am. It's gotten to the point where it's epidemic. When you lose six straight games to Kansas City and their payroll is $75 million less than what the Tigers is, it's a real, real problem. And Jim Cleveland's saying he's confused. Yeah, well, let me stop you a little bit because I remember a column that you wrote shortly after that saying, A, the Tigers gave away the farm, and B, we had baseball games are won by pitching, and the Tigers have no great pitching. You said flat out that's going to be a question mark with this team. And nobody thought Verlander was going to be, what, 1 and 7, but, uh, you know, and Bonderman has uh, struggled, and Nate's Nate, and all of a sudden, it is what it is, man. They're a bad team. Did They've all been that? bad. They're a bad team. Roster. Everybody's Fire been bad. Fire Matt Miller, by the way, they're so yeah. bad. You know? Matt resigned. <laughs> so when you get into that situation, you sit there and you look at the Tigers and say, well, you know, nobody's separated themselves from the Tigers. That's right. Cleveland, but Cleveland's starting pitching has been lights out. Carmona, uh, that kid Cliff Lee all of a sudden is coming back from nowhere. And Sabathia started to turn it around. If Cleveland gets started pitching like that, the Tiger season could be over before it begins. And now, you know, going out to Arizona, they're going out to – some of these games that they got coming up are pretty difficult. Right. But it, just like Cleveland turned around, it's not too late. Tigers' bats can get hot. They can turn it around. Their pitching can get healthy a little bit. They're not out. Like you say, there's six games out heading out west. So it's, uh, no, six games of them. Seem, the towel, yeah. yeah, but they're lucky they're even that close. Yeah, a lot of years, somebody would have separated yeah. themselves. And I said they were going to win 90 games. You can see it on my blog. Uh, a couple of blog entries ago, don't hold it against me. And you don't have to read that if you really don't want to, that 90 win prediction for the Tigers. They're going to win 90 games. Oh, boy. I don't think I was necessarily right about that. Um, Pistons, they wrapped up the Magic in a nice little package, uh, waiting for who they play. Uh, the Pistons, to me, look like they're peaking at just the right time. And I, I don't know what it is, Jeff, but I don't hear anybody say that they should trade Tayshaun Prince yet what, 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 anymore. What, what, what's going on? I thought he was the guy that had to go. You know, I, I think I have Randall, Randall Yackey in our own news department says so trade the whole bunch. He wants a big center in there, and I, I never quite figured well, that out. Dwight Howard's a big center. What good did <laughs> that do the man? Right. No, they're, they're rolling, and, and Chauncey getting back, getting a little rest. Uh, same with Tayshaun. question is, who would you rather have to play, Boston or Cleveland? Well, first, I'd rather see Cleveland for a number of reasons. I think that's a great rivalry that the Pistons have with the Cavs. Uh, the last couple of years, they've had really good playoff series with them. Detroit and Cleveland kind of mirror each other. But I think basketball tradition is nationally, and I understand this, want to see the Pistons Celtics. They remember the Larry Bird years and the Isaiah Thomas years, and that Celtic green still carries a mystique, and they had the best record during the year, and they've been talking about the Pistons and Celtics forever. So one way or the other, the Pistons are there. That's what matters. And uh, you know, I just assume see, see Cleveland, though, Pat, because that game five was LeBron just, he just came in here and stole it, man. Yeah. And you need revenge for that. I asked this today on my uh, uh, blog, and I wonder what you thought of it, being a hockey infectionado. I think that's how you pronounce that. We'll put the infectionado up there on the award-winning set decoration here at the book in his boss. But I, I, Malkin and Crosby, I wouldn't trade. Zetterberg and Dad, I would trade Zetterberg and Dad for Malkin and Crosby because they're younger. You would? I would. Well, they're younger. Those guys are 20 and 21. Zetterberg and Dad are 30 and 27. But right now, if they're playing the, in the Stanley Cup Finals, I think the Red Wings have the edge there because those are older and more mature players, and they have better all-around game. Do you understand where I'm coming right. from? No, I, and you're right. I think if given the Wings' defense, if you put Malkin and, and Crosby with that defense feeding them the puck, oh, my. Goodness, but uh, just read my column about the Red Wings defense. It's in Saturday, so <laughs> there you go. But don't mind, did you? Ask me. I did. No, absolutely. Okay. okay. But uh, no, anyway, Pat. Uh, I, it, it, Pittsburgh's what the Pistons were going into Boston, trying to establish themselves. They're they're going to be there, but uh, not yet. Not yet. Well, it should be interesting. But what a great time of year it is! Don't forget to check out the Oakland Press 
and the OaklandPress.com. We've got great blogs, Jim Hawkins, Eye of the Hawk, uh, Dave Burkett does a great one about the Lions, Paula Pash, Big Ten, Bruce McLeod covers the Red Wings for us from the Macomb Daily. We've got great blogs going. Yeah, don't, don't forget the scooter. Wait, one more, one more, too. The uh, high school prep page start. We're launching that within a week or two. Everything you want to know about high school sports in Oakland County. So. Yeah, we got a lot going on in the print edition and in the online editions of the Oakland Press. So check us out uh, at the subscribe. Hey, the American Idol is not behind the camera. Hey, who is this, guys? Is Drew? This is Drew? You know what it is? It's the finals of the American Idol. It's David Archuleta versus Jim Martinez. Vote for the real American Idol. That's Jim Martinez. Till next week, we'll see. He's Jeff Kuhn. I'm Pat Caputo. This is the book and his boss at the OaklandPress.com and at BlogCentral.com. We'll see you.